There are many villages inhabited by jinns and ghosts all over the world. And they all have their own interesting history, including a different story that we are talking about today about a village in which many unexplained events are taking place, as well as something strange that has no explanation in the past, yes people may disappear indeed. We all know that, but how could an entire community disappear without a trace overnight? Archaeologists who have examined the area have some theories about what might have happened in that place, but some scholars admit that they are completely ignorant of how this happened. And there is no logical explanation. The locals near the place and not in the place itself are convinced that the people who disappeared from the site had cursed the place with an evil curse before they left, and so it is now haunted. However, there are perhaps perhaps more reasons about this story that can shed light on what happened there. The ancient village of Kuldhara, located about 18 kilometers west of Jaslamar in the state of Rajasthan, India, was once a beautiful and peaceful place. It was founded in the 12th century and is inhabited by a dynasty of Brahmins who, according to their beliefs, have a history dating back 6,000 years. Looking at Kuldhara now and its ruins. It might be hard to imagine that this site was once a thriving place, but people actually lived in that village for more than 600 years before something strange and totally unexplained happened. The village, which has its fair share of legends, is said to be inhabited by jinns and spirits. I read many reports of it years ago. Many paranormal researchers and ghost hunters have investigated the area and confirmed that strange things and phenomena are happening there. Examining the story from a historical and archaeological perspective, we can confirm that the majority of the villagers in the past were farmers, and also that these people were skilled in knowing architecture, and everything was fine in that community. Until these people faced problems with the government that demanded them with high taxes. One day, all 1,500 residents of Kuldara village disappeared overnight, and this documented real event baffled many historians, how could so many people disappear suddenly and without any trace? Did they leave voluntarily or by force? What really happened to them and where did they go? But perhaps the answer to this question can be found in a legend about a powerful man known as Salim Singh who raised taxes to the point where it became impossible for the local community to live in the village. Historian and writer Leo Hardy explains that Salim Singh, who had seven wives, was a man who treated women more like animals than people, and had no conscience or any moral problems with using people to his advantage, at any cost. One day, Salim Singh came to the prosperous village of Kuldhara to collect taxes on agricultural products, when suddenly his eyes fell on the beautiful daughter of the village elder who was only 18 years old. The girl was so beautiful that he was immediately attracted to the girl and wanted her as a wife, but all those in the village were aware of Salim Singh's nature, and therefore, without any thought, the girl's father rejected his offer. And thus Salim Singh was angry at this refusal of the girl's father and the village elders. He wanted to marry the beautiful girl at any cost, which made him threaten the villagers and village elders. That if they did not hand over the girl to him within a month and by the next full moon, he would attack the village and kill those who stood in his way and take the girl by force, and also imposed heavy taxes on them as a form of revenge. Then the elders of the village and the locals got worried. They wanted to save themselves because it was impossible for them to accept his offer and for this corrupt man to take the girl. After several discussions, the village elder and the people decided to preserve the honor of the girl. Before the full moon, Salim Singh sent his guards to the village. Kuldhara told the people that he would invade the village on the night of the full moon and take the girl by force. 
At which point the villagers gathered at the temple located in the center of the village and decided to leave with the girl in order to save her. And when the Brahmanas left the village of Kuldhara, they cursed the village with a great curse, mixed with a number of rituals. So that no one could live in it, and if anyone tried to inhabit or settle in that village, he would die, fall ill, or go crazy in a mysterious way, and from that moment no one could survive. In the village of Kuldara never. Today. Many people claim to have heard strange and frightening voices whispering from the ancient ruins, and other scary sounds of unknown origin, there are tales of shadow beings roaming among the ruins. And there are reports of abnormal activities occurring around the village of Kuldara with the appearance of a being in the form of a scary girl. Wandering among the ruins of ancient buildings. A number of researchers in paranormal activities have examined the site and have already spotted some phenomena that indicate the presence of unknown powers and activities in that ancient village. In fact, the Indian government has tried to urge people to live in the village over the past years several times but failed, as people do not want to live there because of the dark rumors about the village as well as because of the arid desert-like environment in the area. Yet a number of tour tourists interested in paranormal phenomena visit. Kuldhara village at least during the day, and in fact there are many ghost towns and villages in the state of Rajasthan specifically that contain the famous Kuldhara village, which was cursed by a holy magician. And his curse is still valid to this day.